My first guitar was a uh, Gibson SG Special uh, that I got because uh, Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden had one. I really, I was a really big Iron Maiden fan growing up, but I'm not a big Fender fan personally, so I couldn't really bring myself to get a Strat. But luckily, Adrian Smith had this uh, Gibson SG, and I was like, cool, that's the one. So guitar influences wise, like yeah, so Slash, uh, Dave Murray, and Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden, a massive dose of uh, Wes Borland. Those riffs where it's just got those big, like, it just kind of plays it kind of more like a percussive instrument. But then I guess that's why you need a decent amp backing you, because there's no point playing a riff that's hard as nails and really giving it your all. For a start, if no one's going to hear it, and secondly, when people hear it, like, it's, it's not going to sound right, is it? My band was breaking up, and uh, yeah, I guess um, I just really wanted to, I wanted to do something else, but I could only picture myself putting the effort in if it was kind of like, something a bit more adventurous, where I get to bring ele electronic elements in, and also like big fan of like Riot Girl punk bands and like just having I listened to so much stuff with a female vocal, I really wanted to work with a, a female sound and vocal. So Milky was like modelling in Japan. I was just like hanging out in London and I think I just literally slid into the DMs. It kinda went from there. We just started out hanging out, listening to tunes, and going to like parties at Milky's and then eventually I'd start bringing my interface over and then my speakers and you know, until we had like a little home recording set up and that's kind of it. We both write together. Normally the idea comes from, like, it's quite, because Wargasm's got a lot of components in its writing, it's quite hard to just sit down and write a Wargasm song. There's not really, there's not really a box to work in or a blueprint. So you kind of just have to wait till inspiration strikes. The fun thing about Wargasm at the start was that Milky was coming from a background with, like, no experience in, in her own, like, original project. So the exciting thing when we write is I kind of know the, the rules, the templates, and the things that work for me and work for my listeners. But then Milky, was coming from this naive place of either like she simply liked it or she didn't. And I feel like when you combine those two, I feel that really gives us an advantage. And it really makes something that I'm proud to listen to. We're doing a headline tour in November, which is like our first headline tour. It's absolutely mad, like dates are selling out and stuff like that. It's gonna be big venues, so I'm gonna turn up a lot. A lot, a lot. Then after that, we're going on to the Creeper. Then we're off to Europe next year. We're going to Shikari again. Doing South by Southwest in America. Doing an American run with Anna Shikari. We kind of go through. A, we run it like a kind of like what 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 do we feel like doing? The amp that I'm using today, it's a uh, Marshall GB that has obviously been through the wars. I don't actually think I'm going to be comfortable parting with this amp, ever. Tone-wise, this is outrageous. The band I'm in is kind of more centered around writing and recreating electronic elements live. So the thing about this is the few moments when I need to play the guitar, everyone needs to really know that I'm doing it, you know, hence why I go for the... Uh, Spikier, more fun, more fun looking guitars. But this thing, just like no matter what you do to the settings, it always cuts. It always cuts through. I don't know, man. There's just there's something about the Marshall Jubilees that have so much more bollocks than any other any other amp, you know.